Good morning everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to Aqua Planet and by we I mean me, Christoph, <laughs> Anton and Lucas. I don't know where he is but right. you already know Lucas from the last video so it's okay. And it's basically a two hour drive to get there from Manila which is definitely in day trip distance. We also stopped by Burger King. Burger King is worth it. I got a plant-based burger and back on the road. So we have arrived at Aqua Planet and it's looking pretty good honestly. I hope we're still in the age group where it's fun. I'll let you guys know what I think. You guys know if it's worth it to actually come here or if you should just stay at home. <laughs> Apparently there's also like a surfing simulation which I really wanted to try. I've always wanted to try surfing so it would be cool to actually finally try it. Maybe it will help when I actually go somewhere to surf and then I already have some practice. So we are now about to buy our tickets and it is beautiful weather and there's nobody here. You should definitely come here on a weekday because then there are fewer people and you can go on more slides and you know, it's more fun. <laughs> Look at the size of these wristbands in comparison to my hand. It's like, this is definitely made for kids and it's like, <laughs> I'm an adult like just trying to put this on. It's water so time to chug the whole thing so I'll quickly sing the song that people at my uni usually drink to so it's not as awkward right guys we like to drink with Tim because Tim is our mate and when we drink with Tim he downs it all in eight seven six five four three two one I don't know if I was done by then, but eh! <laughs> so, empty water bottle, check. Cute wristband, check. Friends, check. Happy guard, check. <laughs> and now we're doing a quick toilet break. Damn it, guys, I'm probably gonna pee the whole day because I just drank a liter of water. <laughs> but yeah, I'll just do it in the pool. Nah, I'm just kidding, guys. Don't pee in the pool. Don't do that. So I've been walking for like 10 meters and I left my flip-flops in the locker and I'm already regretting it because the floor is on fucking fire. <laughs> it is so hot and yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna survive through the day. Also, my camera is not waterproof, unfortunately. Ouch, I'm gonna run. So I won't be able to record any of the actual slides, but I don't know. Holy shit, look at that one. I have no idea what that even is. Like, I guess you go through there and then like, I don't know what that thing is, but let's do it. Whew. Damn, so that's what it is. You basically come out there and then you probably do some spirals and then you go through the middle. Right, so we're about to do that uh, yellow and blue one, which looks pretty all right. What's happening? So now we're getting onto this thing, which measures our weight to see if we fit. Also, I already need to pee, which is pretty bad because I'm scared that while doing the slide, I'm going to just pee. Hopefully not. Okay, so of course my camera isn't waterproof, but the guy downstairs said it's illegal for me to leave my things with him. So it's kind of stupid that you can't just leave it with the guy downstairs, like with the guard. It makes so much sense. Also, like I have my towel, which is probably going to get wet, which is kind of annoying. We move. Anyways, <laughs> see you at the bottom. Damn, look at that. It's not very encouraging that they always scream so much. So we've already done one round, but of course I can't take my camera with me because it would get wet and probably break. So I'm just leaving it here at the top with this lovely gentleman and uh, <laughs> he's gonna take care of it, hopefully. Otherwise you guys won't see this footage. <laughs> All right, so I've decided to actually leave my camera here because it's become such a hassle to always leave it at the top and then go get it afterwards. It's kind of annoying. So I'm just gonna leave it here and then Go back out there and slide more. Never mind guys, I'm gonna keep vlogging because I bought a new bag. That means I can keep filming. Up next we have the rainbow slide. Let's see how it is. Honestly, the blue and yellow one was pretty cool. So I'd highly recommend that one. So for this one, apparently you need one of those things so that you can slide on it and looks pretty fun. Let's see what happens. Although that does mean that I need my hands, so I can't really vlog this part. So I'll see you guys later. So that one was pretty all right. What do you guys think? Five out of 10 <laughs> in terms of adrenaline. Yeah, I lost, 
I was the slowest, but I think uh, Anton got a head start. Anyways, that one was kind of fun because you can kind of race with your friends and he's like, three, two, one, go! And then you race. But there's very little you can do to control. At least that's what I tell myself because I lost. <laughs> now on to the next one, which is this purple, huge, I don't know what it looks like thing. And I don't know if you guys even give a sh but I'm gonna give you guys all the ratings or how I thought these things were. Oh my God, Lucas, it's you. Why me? I don't know. Also, they just told us that we're too tall to go on most of these rides, which I think is bullshit, but I don't know. I don't really want to risk it either. So we were too heavy, so we asked the Filipino people that we just saw at the bottom of the slide to help us to lower the weight a bit. These guys helped us out. Really nice of them. This one was pretty fun, but you can't go on it if you're over 317 kilos. Right, guys, so there's one more that we haven't tried yet, and they're being super annoying about it because you can't have any metal on your swimwear. So this bit there counts as metal, and so we we now have to turn around our swimwear so that part is at the front and then we can actually do that one but damn they're pretty uptight with all these stupid rules i think management should sort that out basically it's one of those ones where you stand up there and then it goes and then you fall all the way there and then do a flip and then come out at the bottom hopefully safe holy shit this one actually looks quite scary it goes like and then boom and then you go all the way down <laughs> okay good <laughs> no. Okay, okay. Okay. One, two, three. Honestly, that was probably the most exciting one. It's sort of interesting that you're just in this tube and you're like shitting yourself, have no idea when it's actually gonna drop. And then all of a sudden it's like three, two, one. And then this thing beneath you goes and you're like, ah, fuck. I think it's my favorite one. <laughs> so you definitely don't wanna do the blue one. This is what happens when you do the blue one. So this is the one that I've been talking about basically all day. A surfing simulation. I've always wanted to try surfing. It's the surfing one that I've wanted to try for so long. And yeah, basically this is it. I'm gonna try to ask Anton to film me trying this because I think it might be pretty funny seeing me fall and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, doesn't that just look amazing and fun and like nothing bad could ever happen? to tighten my swimwear so it doesn't fly off which is a good advice I think because shit the amount of water that was like <laughs> it's crazy I noticed that by the end of it he was really trying to make me fall because he asked me to do a rotation and stuff like that and obviously I'm a complete beginner but I understand that the others also have to go so it makes sense but yeah it was really fun and it's kind of cool I want to do it again <laughs> round two <laughs> Right guys, that is the day done. They're basically closing now and telling us to get the fuck out of the park. And that's okay because it's already 4 p.m. And we still have a two hour drive back to Manila. And yeah, overall the tickets were 1,000 I think and the lockers were 200 pesos. So overall 1,200 pesos, which is not that bad honestly. And we could do all the rides, which is pretty cool as well. Now I do think that in Europe, there are probably better selections of rides because there were only around 10 that you could do here. But overall it was a great experience and a nice day trip from Manila. So I'd recommend it, Aqua Park, no, Aqua Planet, that's it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video. Right guys, I forgot to tell you guys, but I still have my vegan burger. So for those of you that are still watching, here's a bonus clip for you of me eating this delicious, absolutely moist burger. <laughs> right guys, just to explain quickly, this burger has been in the car the whole day, basically cooking and uh, sogging in the microwave. So for those of you that stayed until the end of this video, this one's for you. It's actually not that bad.
Here's to me not getting food poisoning. <laughs>